Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello Halal family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video, we're going to be making nasi kering for the second time So stay tuned, we're going to be right back We've got some uh, jasmine rice uh, Put the same amount of uh, rice with the water uh, Put it in the rice cooker or slow cooker for about uh, 30 minutes The rice was washed this time We forgot that last time and uh, now we got a, we got about uh, 10 minutes left now and uh, while we wait for the rice to get uh, prepared we're going to prepare the veggies so uh, we're going to be showing you that as well all right guys so i'm going to get the the kitchen uh, ready so we're going to turn the stove on here and grab some pots and pans while we uh, get the veggies ready but the only thing is this one doesn't work so we have to use the big one <laughs> so we still got uh, four minutes uh, to go here with the uh, rice cooker while we're uh, preparing our uh, So this is the seasoning that we got from my uh, Auntie Grace's uh, Indonesian uh, store It's called Oriental Fried Rice Nasi Goreng This is the non-spicy one uh, So that way the little one can have some two uh, ingredients or herbs and spices so Which is shallot, white pepper, garlic, chili, sweet soy sauce uh, flavoring, palm oil, sugar, that's basically about it. So besides that we're putting some other uh, herbs and spices too, but this comes out really, really good. So I'm really, really excited. This time around I'm gonna, not going to mess it up and it's going to come out good, guys. Fingers crossed. Preparing the salmon now. So we have uh, the salmon here. We're going to throw in some herbs and spices, but the salmon needs a massage for it to be prepared properly. So you, when you put the spices, you need to make sure that you massage it so all those uh, spices and the flavors go into it. But if you leave it, it's not going to taste the same. Our rice is uh, ready, but at the same time we're just uh, preparing our veggies still as well as the salmon. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time to cool down. This time I'm not going to wash it uh, so it comes out better than that. So I'm going to open up the rice cooker just to let it cool down. So I'm having difficulty opening this thing. Ooh, check out the rice guys. Did I do a good job? I've just, I've just been uh, supervising, that's it. <laughs> so the veggies are slowly preparing. We got here our green beans, uh, carrots, as well as corn and celery. Um, yeah, so green peppers. We Alhamdulillah guys, we're uh, done with the nasi goreng. We also got some uh, salmon here. And the best part is I picked up some sambal the other day. So we're gonna throw in some sambal too and give it a try. So let's get started. Okay, so we got our sambal. I got the original one. There was another one I think that had fish in it maybe. So I just thought to maybe start out with the original one first. I tried a little bit yesterday, it was super spicy. So that's why I just put a little bit. And the rice, guys, is not sticky anymore. See, I'm learning. Like, look. If the camera is going to. There you go. You see? Because we didn't wash the rice. Wow. The sambal is really spicy, but the rice itself. Nasi goreng is good, lots of flavor from that package. Mm. Has a bit of like spokiness to it. It's rich. It's a little bit of um, sweetness. It's 
really good. Um, before I used, we used to make like a lot of um, fried rice. Now since we came across nasi goreng, thanks to you, thanks to you guys, every time like uh, if we crave like uh, having fried rice, we actually make nasi goreng. We don't make fried rice anymore. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, came out really good. Now this is the salmon. So let me see if I can show you guys a piece. This came out pretty good too. Just fry it slowly, cooked. Or fried, not fried, I guess lightly just put uh, cooked on a pan with a little bit of butter, margarine or a little bit of uh, oil and then just on medium heat you cook it. really good lots of spices in it it's soft it's moist it's juicy since we're still learning how to make it we don't for example use fresh ingredients to make it because we're not exactly sure what to put right so we just use the package uh, spices but hopefully inshallah down the road as we get more used to it we make more we can try to use uh, fresh ingredients and i'm pretty sure that's going to taste way better than a package the good thing is that the veggies are still crunchy the rice is still like a little bit crunchy too and it's not sticky which is really really good because you can almost taste each of the ingredients by themselves mm. that sambal is good but who it's really really spicy i'm not sure how you guys can handle that it has lots of flavor i can't describe what it has like it has a bit of like sourness maybe mixed with bitterness um but it's good and then that chili kicks in well, thank you very much guys for joining us watching me make uh, nasi garang and try it with some sambal i hope you guys uh, enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you like me to make any other dishes please put in the comment section below as always thank you very much terima kasih guys for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and inshallah I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and my sister.